Oh, man. First and foremost, congrats to the Miami Hurricanes. You know, remaining undefeated of the season. In my opinion, you guys haven't played anybody yet. So I think you guys are undefeated until you guys play somebody competitive. But all respect to you guys. You know, you guys came out here in front of your home stadium, in front of your home fans. You know, girl band playing, girls booty shaking, girls screaming and all that. You guys really said what it's going to do. You guys were going to shut down and smack FSU left and right. And that's what exactly what you guys did. And as for FSU, bro, there is no excuse for this loss. First and foremost, bro, we can't catch the ball. We can't stop the run, stop the pass. Like, come on, man. This, this was a winnable game at one point. This is a winnable game. It's not like we just got blown out. It's not like they were by far the better football team. We were in this game. We were in this game. The Chroma Hawk dude, you played a good game until fucking Brock Lang got in there. So he, he was able to keep us there for a couple of drives. But come on, man. How are we going to drive down the field on the last drive of the game? But we can't do that consistently for the whole game. How? Like, come on, bro. Primetime rivalry game. Like, come on, bro. You guys had to show up. Come on, bro. Like, damn, bro. Shooting ourselves in the foot. Give, letting Mark Fletcher and the Martinez dude run through your defense, bro. Like, come on, bro. Letting them. They probably had a combined of over 150 yards this game. Both of them combined. And most of them probably came from Mark Fletcher, bro. Can't stop the run. Can't stop the pass. Yes, we gave them a couple three and outs. But guess what? We shot ourselves in the foot with the penalties. With the PIs. And then we shot ourselves on a third and 20. We let Mark Fletcher just scramble for a little bit. And then he, well, we let Mark Fletcher rush, scramble out the pocket, throws it to a wide open receiver, and you let him juke you guys, man. You let him juke you for a first down. Shooting ourselves in the foot. We were in this game. It's not like Miami was, was the better team all night. No, we were shutting them down. We were shutting them down until you guys decided to give up. That's why, that's why Miami did it. That's why Miami my, Miami Adam came in with the game with the mentality to not give up, but you guys did. You guys did. Yes, all right. You know, you guys did score on the last drive of the game, but still, why couldn't we do that for the whole game? We could have easily won this game. Could have easily won. Damn, bro. Y'all letting Cam Ward get a receiver touchdown, bro. Like, the receivers, he had no, like, bro, Cam, we locked up Cam Ward. He only had 200 passing yards. He usually throws for 300 to 500 yards every game. We shut that shit down. We shut it down. But nah, bro. He may not have receiving touchdowns and he may not have receiving touchdowns in the 300 to 500 yards he's used to getting. But come on, man. We let him get a receiving touchdown. Y'all made them do the nonchalant ah Philly special, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, damn, bro. This choke this up to, bro. Besides from score scoring wise, you know. Besides from tonight and then the the couple weeks earlier in the season where we got smacked by that one team by fifty, we were in every game we lost to. But you know why we're one and seven now? It's because we don't know how to finish games. We don't know how to execute. That's why we are one and seven. If we were able to learn how to execute and finish games, guess what? We're sitting here at A and O instead of Miami. Miami was sitting here seven and one right now if we were able to do that, but no, bro. You guys let them go eight and zero for the first time since 2017. Yes, all right. You know they haven't played anybody good yet, but let's uh, let's wait for the future until they play somebody competitive. Let's see. But yeah, bro. No, I'm proud of you guys. You know, proud of you guys. You know the way you guys fought. You know, but still, man, we could have easily won this game tonight, bro. And I hope we beat the Gators, bro. I hope we beat UF. You know, if we're ever going to lose to Miami, let's at least beat the Gators. Let's at least beat the Gators. Like, come on, bro. I'm tired of this, man. One in seven. We go 13-0 last season, missing the college football playoffs. Our starters sit out for that bowl game. That's why we, that's why we got smacked by Georgia 63-3. to And guess what? We This this year was supposed to be the revenge tour, but nah, bro. We're just showing everybody in the country why FSU was left out of the playoffs last year. And I promise you, bro, you guys are not doing a good job at showing why you guys deserve to be in it. Maybe next year you guys will when you guys have a better team. Hopefully you guys have a better team next year. Because this is the only video I'm making I'm making about you guys unless you guys beat the Gators. Because I don't care about y'all just as much as I care about the Steelers. 
Like, bro, some bullshit, bro. Chewing ourselves in the foot with the penalties. Can't catch the ball. Letting the ball go through our hands. Hands were for decoration once again. That's what we are. That's what our hands were tonight. Only receiver who decided to show up t today was Malik Benson. And shout out to you, Malik Benson. Everybody else, you guys are going to be dirty for an additional week. No fucking showers for you guys. And only in, in the quarterback and Cromahawk came to play. You know, our defense came to play for the majority of the game until they decided to give up, you know, gash your plays left and right. Like, come on, we were in this game. There was at one point where it was 14 to 7. We were in this game, but now what? You guys let them kick. You guys let them keep converting on third and fourth down. You know, you guys giving up plays left and right, gash your plays left and right. And then you guys let them get two field goals. And then you guys let them do a nonchalant at Philly special. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Like, damn, bro. Like, I had a good-ass day. You know, I went, I went to the field for some football training. I went to the gym, bro. And you got, and I come back, and you guys are getting, come on, bro. You know, I'm so goddamn ashamed of this football team, bro. Like, come on. I know, I look, I believe you guys all the way. I hope you guys finish off the season strong. But come on, man. We could have easily turned our season around with this game, with, with winning this game tonight. It's not like Miami was by far the better football team. Yes, they won 36 to 14, but we were in every but we were in this game. We just gave up. They did it. We gave up. Damn, bro. Congrats to Miami again, bro. Um going in for the first time since 2017. Um FSU, man, let's just the least we could do now is win out. Let's at least do that. Let's win out. Let's win out this season. Let's win out. Please. That's the least we could do. Let's win out. I'll be happy if we win it now. But, you know, we may not be the state champs this season, you know, because that goes to Miami now. Miami are the 2024 state champs of Florida. You know, they beat UF back in week one, and they beat us tonight. So forget about being the state champs. But let's at least be the champs of Gainesville. Gainesville. Let's beat UF. Please. Beat UF. Um, but, yeah, bro, that's all I got to say about the game, you know. You guys, um, thank you guys for the support. You know, we are currently at 161 subscribers. So make sure you click off this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And let's get the five out yourselves at the end of the year. This has been your boy, JDI Gaming. Peace. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Like us at five out yourselves at the end of the year. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.